Hi, I'm Jens and I work for Danfoss. This short video is about pump down and adjusting the Danfoss low pressure cutout pressure switch KP1. The pump down system is very common and relatively simple in the function, where the thermostat first cuts off the refrigerant flow so that the compressor will suck the evaporator dry and obviously the pressure in the suction line will drop. When the suction pressure has dropped to the set point, the compressor will shut down. That's the low pressure cut out. When the temperature you want is obtained, let's say in the storage room for dairy products, you want the average temperature to be 4 degrees Celsius. So you switch off the cooling at 3 degree and switch it on again at 5 degree. That's quite easy. You simply install a thermostat that switches off the flow of the refrigerant with a solenoid valve. That only switches on and off the flow of the refrigerant. So you also need to install the pressure sensor or pressure switch that switches off the compressor when it has sucked the evaporator dry of the refrigerant. But let's first talk about the switch mechanism inside the pressure switch of the Danfoss KP1, which is a single pole double throw type. You connect the power supply to the single pole terminal 1, and the compressor will be connected to either terminal 2 or 4. Now, let us connect a bellow to the switch. A bellow acts like a balloon, which means that it expands when the pressure inside the bellow increases and contracts or shrinks when the pressure decreases. If we need to cut off the compressor when the pressure is higher than the set point, the compressor should be connected to terminal 2. But in our case, we need to shut off the compressor when the pressure is lower than the set point, so the compressor is connected to terminal 4. Let's add a spring to the top of the bellow so that we can control the movement of the, of the bellow. The spring pressure acts against the pressure inside the bellow. Now we can precisely decide which pressure the compressor should cut off by adjusting the spring pressure. The adjustment of the pressure switch is a bit tricky, so let me show you how to do this. You'll need to think a bit uh, backwards, so to speak, because the first adjustment you do is in fact the pressure at which you want the compressor to be switched on. which isn't really that logic, but that's how the pressure switch works. Uh, just a word before we start on anything, let me just warn you that the scale on the KPs are indicatively only. You'll need to use your manometer or manifold to adjust the pressure switch points correctly. Okay, so let's just say that we work on an R407F system. The pressure at minus 6 degrees Celsius would be 4.1 bar, so that'll be our operating pressure, where the suction pressure will be under normal operating conditions. Wait a second, did I just say minus 6 degrees Celsius? Yeah, we need to take temperature difference between the inner tubing of the evaporator and the outer air temperature, which we want it to be 4 degrees Celsius, into account. Usually we calculate with 10 Kelvin difference. Remember, that's the same as 10 degrees Celsius. So the corresponding inner temperature pressure with R407F will be minus 6 degree and 4.1 bar. So we want the compressor to cut in or start at 5 bar. That is, when the evaporator outlet pressure has risen to 5 bar after the thermostat has opened the solenoid valve and the evaporator is fed refrigerant again. Remember that the solenoid is holding back liquid refrigerant under high pressure. So when the solenoid opens, the refrigerant will automatically start flowing into the evaporator and of course evaporate because of the relatively low pressure inside the evaporator. Anyways, the pressure will start rising in the evaporator, the evaporator outlet and the suction line in the compressor. And that's why we want the compressor to start again at the 5 bar to get back to the operating pressure at 4.1 bar so that the cut-in is a little higher than the operating pressure. Remember, 
the switch terminal connections from before. So in this case we connect the power to terminal 1 and the compressor to terminal 4, like I said. Okay, so now we know that the compressor cuts in or starts at 5 bar. So how do we get it to cut out at 3 bar? On the Danfoss KP1, you set the difference, that is the difference from the cut in to the cut out. And that difference will in our case be 2 bar. So we need to set the diff or the difference to that. Now, again, remember that the scale that you see at the front is only indicative and you will need to use your manometer or manifold to set the correct pressure. Let's just do a quick recap. The thermostat stopped the refrigerant flow. Then the KP stopped the compressor. All because the temperature has reached a set value on the thermostat. Meanwhile, the th temperature has started rising again, ever so slowly, but it rises, and eventually the thermostat opens for the refrigerant flow again by opening the solenoid valve and the pressure start rising in the suction line again. 